Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is an awesome, awesome day. I have a big announcement. I've got a new band. <laughs> It's a Mercedes Sprinter a long wheelbase. It is massive, but yeah, I'm really excited to start converting it. It's going to be my own wee project. Sean's going to help out as well. Uh, going to be the ultimate camper, mountain bike, gravel, adventure wagon. Let's take a look. So, yep, that's my seat rammed all the way forward because I'm a little midget. Um, little Monica, my hula girl. <laughs> yeah. That was the first thing I installed, no shock. If you watched my previous videos in my last van, Tina, I had a nice doubled in screen up here. So I've kept that and uh, just traded her in with the uh, normal Ford stuff. So yeah, I'll be getting that changed with getting the screen put in and also getting a reversing camera as, like I said, she's long. So yeah, quite nice to get a reversing camera until I get used to it. And yeah, not too much else to show in here pretty standard. Um, the other good thing is it's actually got three full seats. Uh, I've got it down just down for the wee cup holder since I'm here myself. But yeah, also in my old van it did have three seats or it claimed to have three seats but really it was one in a bit. <laughs> um, which made for some awkward car journeys. Now moving into the back. I can never get that to open. <laughs> There's my bike in the back. I'm just about to go for a ride. But yeah. That gives you a slight idea. That's my bike there. How much more space I've got. So yeah, we've already started planning some bits out. That's why you can see the tape on the floor. So back here, it's going to be the bed with the bikes underneath and the bed on top, obviously. Then I think this side is going to be a little seating area, chairs, table, and then this side a uh, bit of kitchen counter. Not really sure what to do with this space at the front yet. Uh, we do need to find a place for the toilet and we're not sure how much space we're going to have in the garage for kind of the electrics and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, we're still in the very early stages at the moment. So if you've got any ideas for a different layout and um, also any help with any electrics because absolutely no idea what I'm doing with that, but we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. Any ideas you've got? Have you got a camper van? What did you do? Have you done more than one van build to help me possibly not make mistakes on the first one? Yeah, just let me know down in the comments everything you want to see in this build, any ideas you have, and yeah, can't wait to get it started. So yes, as you might have guessed, this does mean Tina is gone. Tina was my first love. She was such an amazing van. I absolutely loved her little Transit Connect on wheelbase with my little tent box on the top. Took me to some very amazing places and I'm so glad I had her, but yeah, glad I've stepped up now to a big beast and I can't wait to have my bed and my bikes inside because yeah, it's not always the easiest to do a bit of stealth camping with a huge tent on the top, but it's a lot of fun and I love the tent box community. cleaning her up, uh, did a wee bit of measuring the other day and um, see kind of what we've got but yeah like I said any ideas we greatly appreciated and can't wait for when we start building. See you guys in the next one. Yeah. 